Normally I wouldn't celebrate a word like nostalgia, but in the case of Shovel Knight, you can definitely see the references to NES games of our past. The health and magic is like Zelda 2, Shovel Knight has a pogo stab like Scrooge McDuck in the DuckTales game, and the graphics are even in an 8-bit style, just like the NES. With the DLC, characters were introduced that have different fighting styles. Plague Knight seems pretty original, and Spectre Knight only has one major comparison. That's being, uh, Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden's Wall Climb. Similar, but I think Ryu Hayabusa is way better at it. We can only hope that King Knight is going to be original as well when that DLC comes out. So, what is the story that links together all three DLCs? This story actually starts with Spectre Knight in the most recent DLC, Spectre of Torment. You find out that he assembled the Order of No Quarter, the main bosses, before Shovel Knight even sprung back into action. So, after Prequel Knight's story, both Shovel Knight and Plague Knight's stories happen together. For Shovel Knight, he loses his friend Shield Knight in the Tower of Fate, and he retires, living his life in solitude. That is, until a woman known as the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter ravages the land. Unbeknownst to the Order, however, Plague Knight needs something from each of the other knights in order to finish a potion of ultimate power. So you can say, he's like a renegade. He has his own goals in mind. That doesn't stop him from being a bad guy, though. The gameplay is similar to Mega Man in the sense that it gives you a choice of what level to start on, you know, boss, and in order to get to the boss, you have to complete a level, and then you fight the boss at the end. Though, you're only allowed access to some bosses, a la Mario 3 style of map. Wow, this late in the video and I'm still making NES comparisons. It's a standalone game though. I feel great sharing this and the upcoming DLC, The King of Cards, with all you beautiful people in 2018. And uh, yeah, that DLC is coming in 2018. Though, making such a comparison as to say Mega Man, well, why don't you meet me in the next day, as the fourth day of Rambus comes to a close.